Hi and welcome to Gen Yoga. It's lovely to have you here for this grounding practice which is perfect for the evening or when you just need to take a moment to slow down. I invite you to light a candle, get as cosy as you can and let's meet on our yoga mats. We're going to start today's practice seated. So I invite you to grab a thin block or um, a blanket if you've got one, just to elevate your hips, which can help you um, get a tall spine. Resting your left hand at your heart space, right fingertips beside you on the ground. Closing down the eyes or softening the gaze. Just begin to tune in to your breathing. Tuning into the body, noticing how it's feeling today and in this particular moment. Soften the jaw. Soften the point between the eyebrows. Keep length in the back of the neck. And breathe. Coming in tune with the natural rhythm of your breath, the rising and the falling. And whatever pace it's taking, see if you can deepen it. Recognising the connection of mind and body, but also the connection of yourself with your surroundings. Take two more breaths here. And your final one, make it the deepest breath you've taken all day. At the end of your exhale, just bring your palms into heart centre into Anjali Mudra or prayer position. Gently flutter open the eyelids if you have them closed. And as we inhale, we're going to reach our fingertips up and overhead. When we get to the top, we're then just going to press the palms down towards the ground on our exhale. A bit like a cafetiere or French press coffee. Inhaling, reaching wide, reach up and overhead. And exhale, gently press down, pressing through the palms, calming our energy. One more time, inhaling, reaching up, finding length in the side body. And exhale to calm. Gently moving over onto your knees. So if you've got a blanket under them, it might be nice to keep that there. If you've got a block, just pop that to the side. And from our tabletop position, with hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hip points, we're going to press through the left palm and inhale, sweep the right fingertips up towards the sky. As we exhale, we're going to thread our right palm in between our left knee and wrist, coming onto our side. And as we inhale, we're going to reach up. Exhale, threading the arm between the gap. And inhale to extend. This time, as we thread our arm through, we're going to bring our cheek down towards the mat, keeping our hips above our knee points, and you can crawl your left fingertips forward to really intensify the stretch. Really press through your fingertips, press through the tops of your feet, and breathe into the stretch, into the back of the body. And then close down the eyes. To really just internalise a little bit. Take one more breath there. Full breath out. And gently crawl your left palm in line with your face. Press through the 
palm as you come back to your tabletop position. Take a moment to circle through the wrists. Playing with the weight distribution and bringing a little bit of a stretch into the hands and the wrists. Meeting in centre, we'll press through the right palm and inhale, lift the left fingertips up towards the sky. As we exhale, we'll thread the left arm between the right knee and wrist, coming onto our side. Inhale, let's open up. And exhale, threading through. Inhale, to extend. And exhale, thread it through, this time resting on your left cheek and shoulder. Perhaps crawling the right fingertips towards the top edge of your mat. Being mindful to level out the hips. So if you feel like you're sinking over to the right, engaging through the core just to bring the hips back to center, resting over the knees. Breathing in to the left shoulder blade and the back of the body. Take one more breath here. And as you exhale, bring your right palm in line with your face. Press through the palm as you come back to your tabletop position. Crawl the fingertips forward. Sink back into your child's pose. And you can keep your feet hip distance apart, or you might want to make your knees wide, big toes to touch. I'll let you make that choice. Rest the elbows onto the ground. Fingertips reaching forward. Forehead resting on the mat. Breathing here, just softening into your child's pose and feeling supported by the ground beneath you. Keeping your gaze low, your torso low, gently pull both hands as far over to the right as they can go, perhaps crossing the left palm on top of the right. Staying in your child's pose, but this time breathing into the left side of the body, keep anchoring through the left hip here. And gently crawling yourself back through centre, keeping low. Right hand comes on top of the left, forehead back down towards the mat, elbows are soft. Jaw is soft, breathe into the right side of the torso. Ever so gently from here, just bring yourself back to centre. Walk your hands towards your knees. Lock your legs to one side. I'm going to meet lying on our backs with our knees pointing up towards the ceiling, feet planted firmly on the ground here. Take a moment just to settle into your pose, shoulder blades snuggled under. And then from here, we're going to, keeping the left foot flexed, we're going to cross the calf over the bottom of the right thigh, coming into a figure four shape. Now you may feel enough of a stretch here through the left glute and outer hip, but if you wanna go a little bit deeper, I invite you to keep the right leg at a 90 degree bend, lifting the foot off the floor, interlace the hands behind the hamstring, and draw your knee in towards your body. Breathing here. And the deeper that you go, so the more that you pull your knee, your right knee in towards your chest, 
the deeper the sensation. So you're really in control of that here. Take one more breath. Exhaling. And drop the right foot back towards the floor. Uncross the legs. Hug both knees in towards the chest. Then gently guide your knees over towards the right hand side of your mat. You can reach your left fingertips out towards the side or cactus your arms. Anchor through the left shoulder here as we breathe into our twist. Gaze can be up towards the ceiling, out towards the left. Eyes can be open or closed. Softening into the twist, allowing the body to become heavy. Take one more breath here. At the end of your exhale, just gently bring yourself back to center and plant your feet onto the ground. If your left hand's up by, the, um, by your ear, just release that. And we're gonna press through the left foot and bring the right calf over the base of the left thigh here, keeping the foot flexed and deciding if this is enough sensation in the right outer hip and glute. If you want to go a bit deeper, just bringing the left foot up off the ground again, keeping both feet flexed to protect the knees and interlacing the hands behind the hamstrings. Breathe into the sensation and notice if it feels different, which it most likely will, to the other side. Soften the jaw, avoid any gripping. Take one more breath in. And as you exhale, just release your left foot back towards the mat. Uncross your legs. And then hug your knees in towards your chest. Gently guiding your knees over towards the left hand side, opening up through the right arm, either palm facing up or cactusing. And release into your twist on this side. At the end of your next exhale, just ease yourself back up to center. So your knees are hugging in towards your chest. And we're gonna extend the right leg out long towards the bottom right hand corner of the mat, left leg to follow. You can cross the left leg over the right. And then we're gonna shuffle our shoulders over towards the top right hand corner of the mat. Reach the arms up and overhead, perhaps grabbing hold of opposite elbows. And breathe into the left side of the body. Allowing your shoulders, your hip points, your heels to really anchor you into the ground.
take one more breath from this side. Exhale fully. And then release the arms, bring your shoulders back to centre. Release the legs. Give them a little wobble from side to side if you need. Then let's go to the other side. So left foot to the left corner of the mat. Right leg to meet, perhaps crossing over. Shuffle the shoulder blades over to the top left hand corner and grab hold of opposite elbow. Breathing into the right side of the body here. Soften any areas of tension. Gently bringing yourself back to centre. Upper body comes first, releasing the arms. Lower body follows. From here we'll just rest in our Shavasana. So legs are about mat distance apart, feet falling out to the side. Palms resting beside your body with soft fingertips. Moving through a body scan, so drawing our attention to our toes the arches of our feet, the heels, the calves, the shins, the knee joints, the upper thighs and hamstrings, relaxing through the glutes, the hips, the tummy, the shoulder blades are sinking into the ground, and travelling down to the elbows and the backs of the hands. Chin gently tucking towards the chest, lengthen the back of the neck. Soft jaw. Eyes are just resting. From here we'll just breathe. staying here for as long as you need, knowing that this practice is here to support you whenever you feel like you need grounding. So either resting in your Shavasana for a little bit longer, or bringing the palms to touch, base of the thumbs at the point between the eyebrows. Just gently massage out the muscles there. And we're going to end our practice here, just lying in our Shavasana. So thank you so much for joining me. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and I look forward to practicing with you again soon.